Hi, Scott Machine Gun Dad. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to talk about my Beretta 21A for another episode of I Have This Gun on the Wall. The reason I chose this 21A is because for this video is I just done videos on my SIG 229 and this is actually a, a summer carry gun. This is not my primary summer carry gun but this is a backup. On the days that it's so hot that all I can wear is a pair of gym shorts and, and something like that, I still like to carry a firearm. The 380 I carry, I like to carry in a belt. If I'm wearing something that I need lightweight, I'm not a fan of these little polymer guns, so I choose the 21A. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to zoom in on the writing, see if I can get this right. Alright, we got that. Kind of an odd angle. For those of you that don't know much about the 21A, the 21A of course is a 22 long rifle round uh, cartridge. One of the interesting things about this series of Berettas is it has a pop-up barrel so you can see it's empty. Here's the magazine, you can see it's empty. So to load this you put the rounds in the magazine and then the final thing is to put a round in the chamber and then click it down. Also you will notice that this gun is double, first shot is double and every shot thereafter the hammer would stay back. It has a safety right here that you can engage in double which this is how I normally would carry it and you can also engage the safety in single. I wouldn't carry it that way. I don't, I'm not a big fan of what they call cocked and locked. Another unique thing about the 21A is it's really hard to show because this is pretty stiff but the 21A has no extractor and I don't believe any of the series the, the 25 or the 32 it's straight blowback so this gun does require some lubrication to make sure that the casings can come back on the on from the gun going off and throw clear if you run this gun dry you get a lot of failures to extract another thing that this gun requires is Mm, I would say high velocity ammo minimum hot ammo is even better like a stinger um, sometimes if you get ammo like Walmart ball pack it's irregular and if you get a wimpy round it's not going to inject it and cycle it properly but this gun I can stick in my pocket it's literally the size of my hand I can stick it in my pocket if I was somewhere where I needed it it would be up close and personal seven yards or less I would just point it and shoot it but it's still a Beretta I would much rather have this than some plastic POS that kicks like a mule can't hit anything with and granted um, 22 is not the best man stopper but it's better than a pointy stick and if you use stingers it hits pretty hard so this is another episode of I have this gun on the wall and let me take you out in the range and show you how to shoot it. I've got the Beretta 21A with me out on the range as you can see it's not much bigger than my hand. As I discussed on the inside of the video this isn't a two-handed thing this is a point and shoot. Um, so I'm going to load it up here. This is, these are stingers. Um, I just brought one full mag and I realized I needed one to drop in the barrel. So I'll do that first. Put the safety on, load the magazine, it clicked in, my inventory tags are in my way, there we go, that's better. Alright, I'm about seven, seven yards from a steel target, let's see how I do one handed. First one will be double and then single the rest of the mag. Four out of seven out of eight. As you can see, it doesn't lock open on the last shot. Runs flawlessly with stingers. So, the second mag I have is just Walmart ammo. Walmart Federal Bulk Pack. I'm going to take one off the top. I'll stick the magazine in it. 
I'll flip up the barrel. We'll try Walmart bulk pack. Look at that. Well, I have one failure to feed. On the other hand, this gun is a little dry. But extracted, ejected. The funny thing is, there's no extractor in this gun, so it's just straight blowback. My opinion on this gun is this. I carry this gun in the summer when it's so hot that I'm wearing a pair of like gym shorts or something like that with a string tie waistband where I can't afford to have a lot of weight. It's a good gun. Uh, if, especially as you saw if you use good ammo. It's better than nothing. Would I carry this as when I can carry a full size pistol? No, I would not. But it's still better than a pointy stick. Thanks for coming to my channel. Thanks for not watching another episode of I Have a Gun, This Gun on the Wall. Like and subscribe. Please follow me on Rumble. See you soon.